This is my August Girls Gone Scrappy trade album and I tried to get a little bit out of my comfort zone this time. I wanted to go a little bit monochromatic, not quite so much vintage. Um, so I like the way this album turned out. Um, I have my little mini book on top. I've used my um, shank button and hair tie closure. Um, I've used my uh, wire and bead binding and um, the, the title page simple memories and you open the first page and we have um, a transparency and we have uh, room for a picture and some journaling on the back and I thought maybe a picture in here you could slide in um, I thought that would be kind of neat and then on the second page we have the what I would call the Miriam pocket which I like to use in my albums and I've got a uh, area for pictures here and um, a journaling or another picture on the other side and you can kind of slip the picture under here if you'd like and again just kind of simple less is more kind of thing look how neat this wire and bead binding looks on this with the black spine sheets and on this page uh, we have perfect and again, just something very simple, a little shimmery glitter on the birds. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, this says perfect. And we have a tag uh, for a picture and a room for a picture or more journaling on the back either, either way. And that just tucks in there. And then this page, we have a little book, clearly perfect. And I thought pictures would go nicely in here. And uh, we just close that up. And um, on this, I get kind of a, uh, into a little bit of vintage here. We have a, a World's Fair Chicago, a little poster on this page, and a tag with the opportunity for pictures or journaling on this tag. I just thought these papers were pretty. I got these papers from a um, club scrap uh, kit that I had. And I just really like the colors on those papers, and I like the way the papers looked. And on this page, we have a little um, vintage picture of a little gal. And uh, we have um, a little tag here. We have a tag, some journaling or some pictures on that. And we've got a little charm and another little tag. And on this side, life. And this is kind of sparkly. I don't know if this will show up or not. Another tag for pictures or journaling another little tag and another little charm. I just, I, I really like the simplicity of this book. I, usually my books are a little um, busier than this book, but I like the way this turned out. And then on this page, we have um, another little uh, corner that we tuck a little book into, and a little vintage uh, picture of a Life magazine. And uh, the little book says, live, love, laugh, and you open it up, and there's an opportunity for pictures and journaling. Tuck that back in the corner. And then on this side, we have a picture of a vintage gal in another little corner. I kind of did the opposite uh, on these two pages, kind of reflective. And again, I love this paper, and this book says peace, harmony, and health. And again, we have the opportunity for pictures and journaling. And then, on this page, um, I went with a little different look. This is a, a little flower shape with a little black bling. And this is a little pocket you could tuck this in. This could be journaling on either side of this, the journaling. And then the opportunity for a picture on that side. And this little guy tucks right in there. And then on this side, I always like to add little folios with little belly bands. And that tucks up into that corner. And the belly band comes off, and then you have an opportunity for pictures. I thought that would be kind of neat with the, for the pictures there. And uh, this little flower is all mashed. I have to unmash that for you. And um, on the back, you know, maybe some journaling. But isn't this, isn't this paper neat? I just kind of like the simplicity of this paper. Uh, just a folio for pictures, I thought, kind of neat. And again, I kind of like to include these with a little 
belly bands in my uh, albums. I just think they're kind of fun. And I just tuck this little guy into the corner up here. You just tuck him in this corner. And then these, I think, are my favorite pages. Um, again, I love this paper. This is the paper from Club Scrap. And uh, I just think it's, it's just so pretty. I just love that the ribbon came from Club Scrap. And then this page we have tucked in tags. Pictures or journaling on the tags. Another use a little crunch here. These are tags again for pictures or journaling. I just love rub ons. And uh, this little tag. I just think he's cute. Opportunity for journaling there. And then another cute little tag. Now, this. Uh, I have these three flower pots with these leaves in them are uh, reflected on the next page and I'll show you how that goes. And uh, again, just a little tag and then another one. I love these little tags, the vellum tags, I guess you call them. And so that little guy tucks right in there. And uh, then on the page, next, we have, um, this is a little transparency and we tuck these guys in there. And then you look at these guys, they're the three flower pots. You see. And then there's an opportunity for journaling on the back of each one. Or pictures, journaling or pictures. I just thought that was kind of neat uh, with carrying through with the three flower pots. When you look at them all put together, there are the three flower pots. And then you tuck those in. And that is my book my trade mini for August. A little bit out of the box for me, but I really kind of like the way this book turned out. And again, we have the uh, uh, shank button and, and hair tie closure on this book. Uh, this is for Laura. And uh, Laura, I surely hope you like your book that you can put simple memories in. Thanks for watching.